Also, in surprising news, there's been some changes to the Game Pass prices, which I kind of expected but kind of did at the same time. So originally, the cost for the Mercury base was about 1,800, I think. Yes, it used to cost 1,800, and now it costs 1,350. Now, I have checked. Most people are saying that it is 1,350 for them, but some people are saying it's the original 1,800 price for them. Not too sure about that. However, if you go to the gasoline gun, the gasoline gun, I believe, used to cost 2,600, I think. Yeah, 2,600. And now it's 1,950. It appears to have been decreased by 25%. And that's the same for the Mercury base. But in fact, it's the same for nearly every single Game Pass item. For example, the Crook boss, it's decreased from 400 to 300. This was a while ago. This was, I believe, before the Mercury... This was right after the Mercury base was added. But the Mercury base wasn't affected. The Engineer, for example, that used to cost 4,000 Robux. And now it's 2,250. And now, obviously, the Gas and Gun used to cost more than the Engineer. But now it costs less than the Engineer because of this game pass decrease and it's like the heck why is it this low what has been done and the engineer used to cost four thousand i think sorry it used to cost three thousand because i believe they decreased the price for permanently in february this year but then they decreased it further 2250 now this isn't the only thing that's changed but it's not also there are also things that haven't changed. So for example, you can see here, the Jester costs 799 Robux. It's always cost this much. I believe when the update comes, it'll probably go, but this is an example. The Harvester costs 799, hasn't changed. And the Halo Punk costs 399, hasn't changed. I don't expect them to change. This video might be released after these game passes are removed, we'll see. But it's not the only things that have changed in the game, because in the game, a lot of things have changed their Robux prices as well. So, so if we go into the store, then, towers and then dj booth actually i have the maco dj booth but so this doesn't actually work here but if you go some people will see that the maco dj booth costs 562 robux that is unusual because it should cost 799 from last time i checked but then if you go to say the high grade crate for example it says it costs 50 robux and then you click it it costs 38 robux it's significantly cheaper i mean actually i'm gonna buy one just to prove that it does work. Yeah, you're not being scammed, except I'm getting all the... Why was that just give, given all the... Fla what? I was scammed there, you know. I was given all flags. But the premium crate costs 60 Robux. That's correct. This costs 200. That's also correct. But this doesn't cost 50. It costs 38, and it's not automatically updated, which is kind of weird. Meanwhile, the phantom crates are. The other crates are, sorry. But then... Right, so if we go into the store and tickets, these appear to cost the same price. Yeah, that's the same price. That's also the same price. Credits, for example, I don't have they de they decrease from what they used to cost before, but they've not changed prices since. And again, it seems to be the same everywhere here. I mean, where's the gas and gun? Yeah, it's here. I mean, slasher. I mean, that's not it's not on sale, but these game passes they remain the same while these game passes have decreased. Oh, hi, Menton. Menton's the guy who discovered this doing the heavy lifting while I coat ride in the discovery. Meanwhile, the battle pass, the Hexgate battle pass. It's, it's the same. The, the Game Pass prices are the same, or the developer products are the same. No, no changes there. So why? Why on God's green earth? And then, but on the Roblox app, it shows 1.4k and 2k for the gasoline gun and the mercury base, respectively. It's not. It's just rounded up for some reason. I don't know why the Roblox did this. I don't know why they just can't put an extra 1.9. Why can't I just put 1.95 or something? Like, come on. Come on, guys. Three significant figures, at least. You do it for the others, but why not the here? You know? Additionally, with the mission quests, the costs have also been reduced from by 25% from, for example, 399 to 300. That's about... It is a 25% decrease, give or take. You can tell that this is not being applied by the developers because you can see that the price is originally 399, ends in the 99, obviously, not to give the impression of, oh, 400 instead of 399. That's people subconsciously think, oh, yes, 300. No, actually, it's 400. 299 to 225, and then 349 to 262. You can see actually that this is being applied kind of automatically with the new mission quest because it's now 300 for the TDS commanders when originally it probably would have been cost it would have cost 400 400 here. I wonder if the developers maybe looked at the other quests and reduced it down to 300 or if it was automatically 309 and all of a sudden because it was made before the update it might have been changed to 300 i don't know it seems really really odd they all reduced their costs down to 25 percent of their original base price on all the same day so i don't know what the hell is going on but everything's cheaper nearly everything's cheaper but as you can see the prices of the game passes they're not they're changing quite 
a lot. A lot of them are becoming discounted. Why is that? And uh, I don't know why. Mentin and I have tried to explain it, but we can't find like a consistent reason because all of the other game paths, apart from the Mercury Base and the Gatling Gun and these the recently added ones, they were discounted before the Mercury Base was added. I thought, okay, maybe the Mercury Base, anything before the Mercury Base, set this price, Roblox automatically, you know, add some things to it and just fluctuate the price. No, it's always consistently been 25% off, except some people have seen increases, decreases, but it seems to have now settled on 25% off. Why? And then why did the merch base all of a sudden, like, three, four months down the line, it get a decrease from 1,800 to 1,350? And why is the gasoline gun two months after it's added? Only two months after it was added, it's decreased from 4,600 down to 1,950. It's cheaper than the engineer now. And many people would argue that the gasoline gun is probably better than the engineer, except that all the gasoline guns banned in certain spots, but... I think there's a good argument to say that the Gatlin gun is better than the engineer. Pound for pound, I should say. But why is that the case? Why are game passes getting cheaper? The simple answer is, we don't know. I suspect that, I thought it was the Roblox doing some shenanigans to reduce the price of the game pass, but it's, I don't know. Genuinely, I don't know, because why would it only be applied to game passes before it was added for the merchant base Gatling gun and the other game passes that recently added, but then why would it be added for the merchant base and the Gatling gun all of a sudden weirdly after? And then why isn't it being added to say the slasher or the harvester or the hollow punk? Why is it only being applied to this? I suspect it might be something to do with they've this these have been in the game for a while and then Roblox automatically sync up and then discount them. But then why is it being discounted in the first place? Are the, do, are the developers aware that it's being discounted? Do they not care? Do they see the graph of revenue and like the game pass is discounted and more people buy it? Do they see like an increased spike and then just like yeah sure we're not gonna change anything but then why isn't why how how long is too long for example the jester the jester still hasn't been discounted even though it's been on sale for two weeks at this point but then if you go into the game why aren't the tickets discounted the tickets i mean in the game the ride tickets has been in the game for months longer than the consumable crates the consumable crates have been affected while well, the ones that cost robux why hasn't the tickets been affected but then you go into the other uh, you well if you're a new person to this game you go to the starter pack the starter pack isn't affected by this why is it only certain things why isn't it all of them it's most things it appears to be most things but why isn't it oh yeah i forgot i can't actually buy it because i'm this account's underage yeah, that's an issue. So it's not even a it's not even a underage thing because if you go here and then go to game passes, you can see that I still have the same prices for everything as I would on my main account. Credits the same. It's the same. Obviously, I don't have gems here because I don't have even though gems appear up here for some reason and it's not being shown down here. But tickets, they're the same. Game passes, they're different apart from these two. Why? Why is that the case? I don't know. Quite. It's all a big mystery. Why would? The developers just discount it. And I don't think it is developers. Menton thinks it's the developers. I don't think it is. Yeah, Menton thinks it's a Roblox thing, but it's only the case where it's it's the only case where he's seen this stuff happen. It's for developers and it's not something that gives people random costs. And why would it, the cheap costs be, be applying themselves after months? And it's like, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's also automated because if it was selling on the prices, there'll be it will have a not it, it wouldn't be the full cost. It wouldn't be 560. No, it'll be 559, like that. It appears to be automated. And I just don't know why. Yeah, 38 is just a weird number to discount it to. Why? Why is it 562? That's just a random number. Of course it's being automated. Why? Why is this the case? We just don't know. It just seems to be the case where after some items are added to the game, after a while, most things will get discounted by 25%. Why 25%? How did we determine 25%? That must be manual. Surely that must be manual by the developers, right? Is this ever going to be fixed? Is the price ever going to go back up to what it was before? Are we going to get a 300, uh, 3,000 Robux engineer? Are we ever going to get the gas and gun back to 2,600? I just, I just, it's so confusing. It is just so, so confusing. And all I can ever say is the game passes, they're discounted. But I can't g give you a reason why they get discounted and i don't know if it's going to be permanent and i don't know if it's going to be temporary so if you have the robots given that it's nearly christmas go ahead go buy it if not i'd be fair you could probably earn them for free so you know you're not really missing out much